Yes, the Association for Ghana Industries is demanding for further reduction in electricity tariffs to enable manufacturing industries to survive. At a news conference in Accra, the chairman of Greater Accra, uh, Chonam, said the AGI appreciates the current reduction, but it is still high. Here's a report by Frederick Clarence Williams. The Association of Ghana Industries lauded government for the numerous policies and initiatives towards facilitating industrial growth. They include the single window clearance and abolition of new sun taxes. But the association wants government to reduce the electricity tariff for local industries to enable them to become more competitive. According to the AGI, the high cost of energy is one of the main challenges confronting local industries. If you go to countries like Ethiopia, they buy power about six cents or so per kilowatt hour. But Ghana was still around about 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So I'm just telling you the difference. And by 1st July, all of us will have access to the same market and all of us will have to compete. But mind you, the cost of power alone constitutes about 30% of the entire production cost. So that if it's not managed properly, you see that our people may not be able to be competitive. The Accra Metropolitan Chief Executive, Mohamed Ajesowa, charged members of the association and other players to be innovative and take advantage of the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. We'll be calling on the Ghanaian industries and the whole of Africa that are poised to take advantage of AFTRA as we welcome them to come to Accra. There will be lots and lots of sub conferences and activities. But we want to translate such conferences and workshops into action. The Chief Executive Officer of Ghana International Trade and Finance Conference, Slasi Kofiakom, said the annual conference is to galvanize the business community of Africa. Our call to Africa in the midst of all of this is to have proper engagement, further deliberations a removal of gross self and ally interests. Because as we unify, it means the internal protocols with, that we have with all of these people may have some distortions one way or the other. So we call for a total unification. The Ghana International Trade and Finance Conference is slated for April 9 this year.